When you guys play the Mavs, obviously a lot of it is about what you guys can do against Luka defensively. Just what do you think of the job that you guys did on him tonight, and how did having Drew around kind of change things? I think we did a good job. Uh, everything he had was tough. Um, you know, we were showing him bodies. Uh, he wasn't able to get easily uh, to a step back that he loves to do. Uh, we just made him pass the ball. Um, but you know, the ball is so much in his hand. And he's a vocal point in that offense, and um, it's hard. You got to be locked, locked in for 48 minutes. Uh, but I think Drew, uh, everybody behind Drew, did a great job. You know, switching in the pick and roll. Um, and when he was going downhill, we we were right there, we were right there. So I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, on a night like tonight where you struggle at the free throw line, just kind of what do you go, how do you move forward from this? How do you kind of try to improve? You just shoot more. Just It's you know, simple. You just go back, shoot more, uh, focus on your technique, um, take it take it step by step, uh, and just shoot, shoot more. That's it. There, there's, no, there's no more secret. The more you... The more you shoot, the more you work on it, the better you get. There's no, there's no secret in that. Zora Stevenson. How do you train yourself to think less? Uh, you know, like, I, I mean, I know when I played, like, free throws, I tried not to think, you know, as much as possible. I know you've talked about the fact that you try to block things out. How do you practice not thinking? I don't think. I don't think the uh, free throw line. Uh, I just shoot shots. Uh, I've done this since I was like 12 years old. So, like, uh, you know, there's players that probably think uh, when they shoot or whatever the case might be. I just go in the free throw line and just say the stuff that I say always uh, to myself. Uh, try to uh, have a good technique and uh, just try to shoot the ball high, give it a chance uh, because most of my shots are short. Uh, so, yeah, I try to think the game. I don't, I don't, think, of, I don't think at all in the free throw line. When you're guarding Perzingis, what's your approach with that assignment? Uh, you just gotta just make it tough. He wants to shoot like uh, walk on threes, uh, one leg, fairways. Uh, you kind of know what his personnel is. Um, you just gotta you just gotta be you know physical with him. Try to make him put the ball down on the floor. Um, try to send him left. Uh, and just try to like you know pressure him. You know when he puts the ball down on the floor, he's seven two, seven three. He uh, he kind of struggles with it, and just you know you know that you cannot block a shot. Uh, he's seven three, as I said, and uh, you just gotta make it as tough as you can for him, and uh, have him shoot like shots over you. Steve McGargy. <clears throat> This three-game stretch y'all have here, starting this night, and now you got Brooklyn coming up, the Lakers coming up. How much is this? How important is this stretch for you, just to kind of figure out where y'all are at this point in the season? Uh, it's, it's it's a good stretch. Uh, it's going it's going to be good for us. Um, and uh, we start from the two games on the road trip that we had today, a tough one against Dallas. We know that we have tough one coming up. But uh, no matter what the outcome is going to be, we're going to get better from it. And uh, that's the mindset we have, that's the approach we have. Uh, but for sure, um, we're going to know. You know, even if you win the game, it doesn't really, does it really mean it doesn't really mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? You've got to keep working. And uh, yeah, it's a long season. And then after the season, you go to the players. You just got to keep getting better each game. Um, keep working on your uh, craft, keep working on our defense, our offense. Keep doing things together. Keep being in a good place mentally as a team. Keep picking up your teammate, and um, no matter that what the outcome is, uh, we know that we live the game and we we are better. Um, yeah. Jim Ozarski. Yes. Um, and a night like tonight, when when the fouls come a little early, uh, how have you learned to to either adjust your game or manage your game? 
when you come back in and, and you know you've got a quarter, two quarters to play, only <coughs> one foul to give, so to speak. Um, how, you know, and, and then tonight, how did you kind of manage that to still stay aggressive, but you know, make sure you stay on the court? Uh, it, it, it's gotten kind of tough. Uh, obviously, you don't want to. You, you don't want to not be on the court and um, not be able to help your teammate. But uh, by the end of the day, you know, there's going to be times that I'm going to be in foul troubles and um, I'm going to have to, you know, sit on the bench. But at the end of the day, I got to trust my teammates that they're going to come in and uh, play hard and uh, uh, play the right way and um, keep the game going. And when I have the chance to go back in, I got I to gotta be aggressive. Like, that's what I always tell myself. Uh, you know, I wasn't able to play in the third quarter, uh, but you know, when I came at the end in the fourth quarter, I was telling myself, I gotta, I gotta be aggressive. I gotta be able to get downhill. I gotta, you know, um, find my teammates. Uh, I just gotta impact the game. I got two fouls. I got 12 minutes. I just gotta do whatever I gotta do. All right, let's wrap up with Kane Pittman. Hey, Giannis, uh, you've obviously seen. Chris closed out games a number of times over the years. He had a big stretch um, today. I'm just wondering about him from a more broader perspective. How have you seen him grow into a player that will be aggressively looking for his shot late in the game? Because I know it hasn't always been an easy thing for him because he's such an unselfish player. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's a great player. Um, you know, down the stretch, you know, when he saw you got you got to get him the ball. Gotta give him the ball. He wants uh, big moments. He wants the big shots, and uh, we trust him that he's gonna make the right play. And uh, he's he's grown to uh, be an unbelievable leader, unbelievable player, and we we want more from him every single night. No, I'm just practice that game speed. I think that's the easiest way to put it. At um, you know anything that I work on, I'm um, be able to find a way to translate it to the game. Um, so it'll be able to work. I'll be comfortable. Um, Nobody would be shocked about a move or a shot that I take because they know I practice it hundreds of times. And your teammates obviously have confidence in you. Coach has confidence in you. How does that compare to the confidence that you have in yourself and how much you believe in yourself? Uh, you know, I think the confidence from my teammates and coaches is the most important to myself. Um, you know, I had a lot of great looks tonight that just didn't fall, but uh, not one person told me, you know, it was a bad shot or, you know, um, you know, Whatever they just tell me, you know, keep keep shooting, stay with it. Um, you know, that's what I tried to do. Jim Ozarski. Hey, Chris. Um, just uh, I don't know if it's coincidence uh, or if it's something you look to do, but throughout the season, this game, uh, when the other team has gone on a little bit of a run, either to close within a bucket, maybe take a lead, it seems like more often than not, you're the one who who stops that with with a bucket of your own. I, is that coincidental, or is that something where it's it, it's you kind of feel that as well, and it's a chance for you to maybe you know reset for for your team? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, you know, I think when we all realize the team's on his run, um, go with something our bread and butter that's going to work. Um, where it could be the ball in my hands, Giannis, Drew, Dante, whoever. Um, just you know, try to get the best shot um, that we know that we've seen gone in thousands of times. Um, most of the time, I feel like for myself, it's a pick and roll. Um, coming off and shooting the mid range or the three or making a play for somebody else. Um, it's just something that, you know, settles everybody down, uh, breaks the rhythm uh, the, or the flow of the other team, and, you know, we get a great look out of it. You mentioned to, to Zora practicing at game speed. Is that a, um, that particular, the, is that something you can practice? Because you, I don't know how you can replicate another team in a run or kind of that, adre the, that adrenaline. Or is that just kind of an innate thing, experience, you know, eight years in the league just doing it, that you're just comfortable in that kind of moment? I think, um, you know, it's probably a lot of experience. Um, you know, I don't move too fast, so going sp game speed is not, you know, running a 1,000 miles per hour. It's just, you know, picking my spots, knowing to where to attack to, you know, use my, my size, um, my length a little bit. Um, I think that's what it's all about, just imaginary, uh, using my imagination um, when I'm working on moves, when I'm working on my shots. Um, just trying to get a nice flow or rhythm. Steve McGargy. Obviously, I had a really tight game tonight. Yeah, Brooklyn coming up, the Lakers coming up. Just this three-game stretch, how much are you kind of looking forward to seeing where y'all are as a team based on these three games? I'm definitely excited. Uh, I think everybody is, too. Um, you know, it's going to be a challenge to go against two great teams. And uh, to definitely see where we are ahead of the, I mean, not ahead, but early in the season, 
um, and, and, and figure out, you know, um, what we need to get better at, what's going to be our strengths, what's our weaknesses and whatnot. But um, I'm definitely looking forward to the challenge. Um, win or lose, I think we got a lot to learn um, and, and see from these games. All right, we'll wrap with Eric Name. There's obviously been times where you guys have played against the Mavericks and Luka's gotten loose and, and really been able to kind of control the game. What do you think you guys did to him differently tonight that, you know, maybe made it more difficult on him? Um, I think one was the game plan, uh, and then two, I think it was Drew. He did a great job, you know, staying to his body. I'm um, challenging all shots. Um, you know, I, I think in the past, I think Bled or whoever's guarding just a little bit smaller. Um, he's a big guy, but to have Drew on him um, with his size and length and his athleticism too, I think it definitely bothered him some on a little bit of shots with Drew staying solid, you know, um, being right there underneath, underneath him every time. I think that wears on guys at the game as the game goes down. This isn't the first night Giannis has struggled from the free throw line. What do you say to him on these nights when he when he's stepping to the line and he struggled all night? Um, honestly, not much. I think free throws, you know, is, is very mental for uh, you know everybody. You know, I think we go all say in practice. We've seen them knock ten uh, free throws, 10, 10 for ten, um, with ease on a daily basis. Uh, I think sometimes it's just mental. I go through it too um, through my stretches, but um, you know, I don't say much to him. Uh, I don't want to get in his head and have him thinking about a thousand different things. I think he knows what he needs to do.